Now, Varun, uh, you couldn't win the Student of the Year trophy, my apologies. But do you think you will be the legit Spy of the Year? Uh, what do you think will get the audiences to call you, therefore, the Spy of the Year? I think all they have to do is stream the show on Prime Video. And uh, first of all, I'm, I'm just filled with so much gratitude today. I just want to say a big thank you to the entire team of Amazon for backing us. Genuinely, from the bottom of my heart. And uh, Raj DK, Sita, thank you so much for putting me in this. It was uh, when I saw Family Man season two, I actually picked up the call and I got DK on the phone. And uh, I told him, I'm a big fan of your work. I said, how can I, you know, how can I, we collaborate, how do I work with you? And he was like, okay, I can't tell you there's something secretive happening, but we're doing something with the Russos. But I can't say, I was like, oh, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> you mean like the, the superhero ones, like the Avengers? He was like, yeah, yeah, but something else, but I can't tell you. And then I think he remembered, I called him, I reached out to him and this happened. And also to have this special day happen with uh, Mr. Karan Johar on stage means the world to me. I would not be, uh, I would not be on this stage, I would not be on any stage in life if it was not for this man. And thank you so much. Okay. Uh, you're up next, you know that. You know that. Uh, I have to say that there are people who can do action, Samantha, and then there are people who can, like I said, right at the top of this, seriously kick ass. How can we forget the Family Man season two? Ladies and gentlemen, she was just beyond incredible in that show. How does it feel to be this badass action-loving spy? I would never have imagined <laughs> that I could do action. But today for me, just being here at this event is already such a victory for me because till the last moment, I really didn't think that I could do it. I didn't think that I would be a part of this, of Citadel and Honey Bunny. I, and I'm just in, extremely grateful to Raj, DK, Sita and Amazon for really coming to my rescue, you know, you, instead of, I just had to prep to be physically even on shoot, so I'm just so incredibly proud already that this is the way it is, the way it looks, it's, I, I can't even believe this is how it looks. Mike, welcome back. How does it feel? I know you've been, uh, um, and I speak for all of us here, you've been here to our wonderful city before, but when I say you are so, when we are also excited to have you with us, I know that you've been, of course, to India, to our city before several times, but how does it feel to be back? And what are you looking forward to most during your time here? Well, thank you, thank you, and uh, boy, that was a, a great introduction. I think if that's the kind of introduction I'm gonna get next time I come, I'm definitely going to have you give it for me. <laughs> well, now. you will. Only thank if they you. have me as the I'm, host. I was next blushing again. in the back there. Um, <laughs> but thank you for thanks for doing this for for us today. Appreciate no, your being a here. I know you're really busy. You've got a lot on your plate. In fact, I've been driving around Mumbai the last couple of days, seeing the billboard to our new film coming out. So I'm excited to to learn more about that while I'm here too. Um, but I'm excited to be here. I, I've been to, to to Mumbai half a dozen times, I think, over my career. And what I'm always impressed by is just the energy in India, and it's just buzzing here in Mumbai when you're, when you're, around, when you're around town. Um, I started at Amazon about four years ago, right before the pandemic. And so what I'm most excited about is being able to spend time with the team in person. Right. You know, I got to introduce it, myself to everybody via Zoom, like we were all doing for those, those years, and it's just taken me a little bit of time to, to get to, to Mumbai, so I'm excited to be here with our talented team and spending time with them. They've done a great job building an incredible service for our customers here in India. I'm also excited to be here because we have a really remarkable technology team here in India. We're going down to Bangalore later this week to spend some time with them. Uh, so I'm excited to do that. And of course, I'm looking forward to catching up with our storytellers and talent that make so many fantastic shows and films for us here in India uh, and thank them for the partnership. Um, and on top of all of that, uh, I'm really here for the food. Uh, you know, I, I'm going to definitely return home with a few extra pounds, so uh, my wife will not be happy with that, but I, I'm, I can't get enough, I can't get enough of it. Well, thank you for all of that, Mike, and of course the food does set us apart from every other cuisine in the world, uh, but 
I leave everyone for that food for thought that this was an incredible lineup that we just saw. I mean, it was just breathtaking. The kind of diversity of content in terms of movies and series and the abundant talent on display was just breathtaking. And so congratulations to your spectacular team in India who have done such an incredible job for pushing boundaries and really taking content to an altogether different level. Uh, Prime Video has a huge worldwide business and is also more than just a subscription streaming service, and we all know that. Can you talk to us and run us through about your approach to building what is essentially a global media business? Yeah, that's right. You know, we definitely have a unique business model here at Amazon, um, but for, for our entertainment business, it really does start with Prime. And when you think of Prime, you think of shopping and shipping, you right. think of uh, music, gaming, uh, we, have a, we have a reading service, a variety of benefits with that Prime membership, but of course, Prime Video as well. Um, you know, customers can find their favorite movies and series all under one roof with Prime Video, and whether you're getting entertainment from Amazon MGM Studios, our local partnerships, or things we've licensed around the world, we really start with Prime as our base. Um, but I don't know about you, I, I've, I've noticed over the last few years uh, as content has been moving to streaming, it's complicated. Um, people aren't always sure exactly where to go to get that movie, get that TV series, uh, or even get that sport, depending right. upon where you are in the world. And so one of the things we've spent a lot of time thinking about is how can we put all of that together in one place for customers? Now, it's not easy. You know, and we haven't succeeded everywhere in the world yet in putting all of your streaming content in one application, but we're making a lot of progress. And what I mean by that is that we've approached streamers all over the world to join Prime Video. You can subscribe to them inside of our application. We've also built the world's largest TVOD store, so more people rent and buy movies on Prime Video than any other store in the world. Um, and then if you're not a subscriber or if you don't want to subscribe to something, we also offer an array of AVOD content where you can, you can without a subscription, watch TV and films. We do that. Uh, under the brand called FreeV around the world, and here in India, we have Mini TV, which is available on Prime Video and on our, our retail site. Um, and speaking of Mini TV, that business is doing really well. We're, we've grown four times uh, overall watch time since 2023. Wow, Mike, if this is what you've done in the last four years, I can't wait to see what happens in the next four or five years. I mean, you're going to break the ceiling, literally, of content creation as well as what's happening at Prime Video. It's just, this is fantastic and congratulations. This is an, a, huge a team massive effort. and Herculean achievement and um, you can take a lot of credit for that. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's a huge team effort. We have a lot of great people working here. Oh, of course. Um, as you focus on growth, Mike, um, where does India fit into the world of Prime Video? Well, you know, famously, Jeff Bezos started Amazon in his garage in Seattle, Washington. And, you know, but I think early on, uh, the first leadership team really felt that we were going to be a global company. Um, but when we look at how, we're, when we're going to expand into a new market or with new products, we really try to understand, can we solve customers' problems? Are we, are we good at something? Can we help, move, you know, uh, so, uh, solve pain points for customers? And so, right. you know, we really feel that we've started to do that with entertainment. Um, and so we look at, uh, uh, at the next 250 million subscribers that we're going to acquire are definitely going to come from outside of the United States. And we're not going to be able to achieve that unless we do a really good job for customers in India as well. Um, we so India is a key geograph ge geography for us. Um, we also believe in the story of India and the growth that's been happening here over the last several years. In fact, you know, when I think about streaming television and I think of India, What's remarkable is I've heard many people say this week that more people are streaming TV and film than they're watching it on linear television on satellite and cable. And what's remarkable about that is streaming's only really existed for seven or eight years. So this is all happening remarkably fast. You know, at Amazon, we use this phrase, it's always day one. I mean, it is really day one in streaming in India and around the world. Um, but India is also a content hub, right? I mean. Uh, people have been making great television and film in India f long before a streaming service launched. Yeah. And so, um, so I'm happy to see so many of our creators and talent here today, and we're, you're going to get a preview of a lot of the programming that we had on, on stage earlier a minute ago. Um, but we're also an innovation hub. I mentioned before.